Hey, back for another video and this week I am in my memory planner and doing something a little bit challenging and different this week using the super small kit from Hello Petite Paper called Merbabe. And as you can see, it doesn't come with bottom washi and very limited with all of the items. So I'm pulling in a crap ton of things from my stash, which is a challenge, but it was a lot of fun doing this spread. So for the bottom washi this week, I decided to pull out my white washi and layer some of these other washi strips on top so that you could not see the lines behind it. Really like that trick for the recollections planner because the color of the paper is not white as you can see. So if you do the white out, you still end up seeing the white out lines, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, but anyways, the washi that I am using, uh, the top washi is obviously from Simply Gilded and the bottom washi I wanna say is from Michaels. On to the date covers. I am using Rose Colored Days this week. And I believe the date dots are also from Rose Colored Days. All right, onto the sidebar. Um, so the kit did come with a full box that had a quote, but the quote was kind of corny to me, <laughs> to be quite honest. So I decided to make my own box. And because it did come with eight full boxes I had the ability to do that and so I just used an overlay from Jackson Pepper you guys know I've been loving that method lately and to separate my sections this week I'm using the 10 millimeter washi from Simply Gilded of that same type of bow and then oh my goodness I discovered these amazing transparent swatches from the Twilight Planner and I am obsessed with these. You guys need to go get them ASAP. They are just so perfect for layering foil over top. And you'll see that I do that here um, with some scripts from Wild Summer Designs. And I really love how it turned out. Uh, also, the sidebar trackers this week are from my leftovers. So I have not the slightest idea what shops those are from. Like, look how gorgeous that is over top of those swatches. Meant to be. Okay, the headers this week I'm using are from Sweet, what am I saying? Simply Watercolor Co. And they are so gorgeous. I've had them in my sash for a while and they are rainbow. So this was a perfect week to put those in. And this week I am putting my full boxes down as I go as opposed to, you know, putting them down ahead of time. And I really liked how it turned out this week. So on to the plans. Um, Monday was the release day for Erin Condren, so I went ahead and picked up a, another vertical neutral planner for 2021. Super pumped about it. Well, I won't say I'm super pumped. I'm pumped about it because it's always good to like have a new planner. Granted, the layout is not like perfect, but it is what it is. Um, and that planner is from Hello Petite Paper. And then I use a laptop from the kit to mark that I rode my peloton and had a conference call at the same time because i have a spin tray which is pretty dope the post-it note is from the sticky committee the camera is from paper blush bar and the script is from avenue k uh, that night i did watch gardens of the galaxy volume 2 and so i used my movie script from the sticker party and then i also watched an episode of last dance which is the michael jordan and the bulls documentary and I also washed my hair that day, so I used this random queen emoji from, or munchkin from Once More With Love. And that TV for Last Dance is from, where is that from? Magic Prince Co. Okay, on to Tuesday. Um, so I laid a full box down, and I actually will be moving that up a little bit. You'll see that here in a second, as well as a header. And then I put down a checklist because I had quite a bit of things that I wanted to mark. And so the checklist is also for my leftovers. Have no idea where that's from. Good thing it matched the one that is in my sidebar. Then I rode the bike twice that day. So I used a script from Station Stickers and then just wrote down some more of the things that happened that day. Um, I finally changed my contacts <laughs> and I used this super cute contacts case from Bubba, Bubba Bear Studios. Okay, 
on to the bottom half. Uh, so it was Taco T Tuesday. So I used another script and that script is from Bubba Bear Studios as well. And I started watching Outer Banks, which, oh my God, so, so good. I definitely thought the show was going to be about like a bunch of kids that like get drunk and high and like just hang out at the beach. But that is completely like not what the show is about. I was very pleasantly su surprised. Uh, then we watched Spider-Man Homecoming and also tried out Giordano's Pizza, which, you know, we, I gave it an 8.3, but honestly, it could be a little bit lower. I'm, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, you know, so Chicago Deep Dish Award goes to Luminaldi's for me, that is. On to Wednesday, I definitely slept in, and so I used this Sleep In sticker from Rory Street Addiction. I did some memory planning. And that script, I love that script, is from Timo Prince. Of course, I rode the bike because I was headed towards my 250 goal. And so I used another script from Station Stickers. I marked that I used my PMD. And that is definitely a necessity for my planner to make sure that I do not use it more than once a week and definitely not the days that I have exfoliated my face or used a peel because that could be real bad. Um, and then I used a box from Artbox Stickers to mark that I uh, caught up on a bunch of shows. And then that night, the movie that I watched was Onward. Loved it so, so much. One of the cutest movies that's come out in a really long time. Really enjoyed it. All right, on to Thursday, second half. I hit my 250 ride goal and I was so proud of myself for that. I pushed myself the last week and yeah, I haven't actually gotten on the bike since because I had been quite sore, but I used an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. and a gold script from Station Stickers and the box I believe was from Artbox Stickers. Then I placed a call option for some stocks. I wanted to mark that in my planner played some Call of Duty and used an icon from Bubba Bear Studios. And then, oh my God, so Dunkaroos had like a giveaway where you could win like a packet of Dunkaroos before the official release at the end of May. And I swear, I got on their website at three o'clock on the dot and they had already sold out. It felt like it was Jordan Saturday, you know, like back in the day, if you like had to wait for sneakers, that's what it felt like. And it was an epic fail, so really sad. Dunkaroos are going to be like really hard to find, I feel, when they do release. And I was a little bummed that I didn't get them. Uh, but then I wrote down a bunch of things in a checklist and I watched Uncork that night. So I used a wine glass from Little Paper Prints. Moving on to Friday, the Drake album was released. So I was listening to that for most of the day. My thoughts on it, eh, it's okay. It's not his best work, but I mean, there's always going to be a market for Drake no matter what he puts out. And then the highlight of the day, I placed a deposit down for a Rhodesian Ridgeback. You guys know that I have been stalking these dogs for many months now. I post pictures of them all the time and they're just a breed of dog that I am obsessed with. And I finally found a breeder that's reputable that didn't have insane crazy prices and so the puppy will be born in June and hopefully will be coming home with me at the end of August so super pumped about that and then I listened to a podcast called We Bought a House. Um, I saw that Shantae from Shantae Plans has been listening to that and so I figured I'd give it a, a whirl and so far so good. So that icon is from Moonlight Paper Co. Did some grocery shopping and that script is from Nicole Hutch Designs. And then that evening I went over to Sean's and we grilled out. So I used an icon from Soda Pop Studio and then we watched Thor. Uh, On to the weekend. So definitely slept in again. And we got some donuts from a local bakery um, that was near Sean's house. And so I used a donut from Rose and Tea Shop. And then when I got home, I did a bunch of editing, uploading, and all that fun stuff of my tag video, which went live. I will try to put that in the cards here if you have not seen it yet. And that icon is from the kit. And then I decided to go for a run. 
and the weather was so perfect out so I used these um, tennis shoes from Paper Muse Crafts. All right, then I put down a checklist to mark some of the things that I did that day. Um, highlight being I watched Failure to Launch with some of the planner girls and the movie was super cute. I really liked it. I feel like I'd seen it before like many, many years ago, um, but yeah, it was adorable. Loved it. And Matthew McConaughey can do no wrong. And to mark my IG haul, I used an icon from Artbox stickers. All right, on to Sunday. So Sunday, slept in again. Been doing a lot of that. Uploaded my plan with me, and it was super rainy. I just, the rain just gets to me. I feel less productive when it's raining, to be honest. Uh, but then Sean came over and we picked up some takeout from this place called Delia's. It's like a Mediterranean Italian place. So bomb. And so I used a emoji head from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then that night we watched episodes five and six, I want to say, of The Last Dance. And also watched Black Panther, which was my first time watching it. I know, crazy, right? But I actually enjoyed it. Um... I didn't, it wasn't quite what I expected it would be, but I really did like it. Uh, yeah, so that's everything for this week. I really love how this turned out, especially because I had to bring in a bunch of different shops specifically for these boxes. Like the one I just put down is from Sadie's Stickers. And yeah, it just all flowed really well. Um, yeah, so everything, everything looks good. Uh, I definitely appreciate you guys, you know, watching my videos and liking my videos and all that stuff, fun stuff, leaving comments. It's always good to interact with you guys. And if you have not already subscribed, please consider doing so and clicking the notification bell so that every time I do post, you will be notified. And yeah, that's everything for this week. Just going and giving you a final wiggle here to show you all of the beautiful gold foil and what I have left in the kit. And yeah, that's everything. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.